Hello everyone and welcome to this week's MySys Tips and Tricks video. This week we're going to talk about one of the most important functionalities available to you in MySys, which is the export and import function. This is commonly used when you need to scrub, clean up your data, make any changes, additions uh, usually, uh, or any changes uh, to the masters uh, that you want to make. So one thing uh, to make sure that we clarify from the beginning is with the export and import function, you can add new, um, whatever the master file you're working with. And for this case, let's say that you are working with your master files and item master. So if you were to export and import, you could work and make changes to your I-40 item. Uh, maybe your uh, price has changed. Uh, maybe your description has changed. Maybe your minimum levels have changed. So you can make all those changes in the exported Excel file and then import it back and that will work. You can add a brand new item as a new row into your Excel table and it will make sure that is added onto the Excel, or sorry, the MySys table. However, if you go ahead and delete a row from your Excel file, it will not actually be deleted from MySys. And that is a security feature because sometimes what you delete in Excel might have connecting transactions and history in MySys and MySys does not want to delete that without checking it against other tables. So deletions are done from MySys and not through the export and import function. But also even with functions or um, even with the uh, addition and or updating, you still have certain ground rules that you need to abide by to make sure that your export and import function will work properly. Uh, let's go ahead and select master files. Now let's work with items. You go to file, export items. You'll notice that it gives you a list here. These are tables that are included under item masters. So when I select the name of file, uh, let's put that to our downloads folder. It'll put it automatically as MII item in this case. MI stands for MISIS and item, obviously for item master. Let's save that. And when I hit OK, it will bring all of these tables that are MISIS tables as a separate tab or sheet inside the same Excel file, which is named MII item.xls. You can also deselect all and then select the ones you want. Or under each table, you can select the fields that you want to work with. For exporting purposes, it does not really matter uh, how much uh, of these fields, how many of these fields you select or deselect as long as you have what you need. But on the import side, uh, things will matter. So let's just say we want to export everything. We hit OK. It takes a little while to process. And then we get in the bottom of the message export completed successfully. Uh, let's launch a fill, uh, file explorer and go to our downloads folder. There is our item master file. And just like I said, there is the tabs in the bottom, each of them representing a separate MISIS table with each table having their individual field names on top. Here, the important thing is, like I said, if you delete a row, it will not be deleted from MISIS. If you make changes to an, an existing row, it'll append it in MISIS. It'll make the changes. And then if you add a new row of data, as long as all the required fields are there, that new data will be added into MISIS. However, in the import section, one of the important things to notice is that we are trying to import only what has not been changed or is not dynamic, i.e. it's static. What do I mean by that? For example, if I go to MII lock table, the second tab, I notice that I have exported uh, each of my items with their locations, their minimum, maximum levels, reorder level and reorder quantity, uh, their quantity in stock, in whip, in reserve, and on order. Okay. As you can imagine, the item ID does not change. Location is fine minimum, maximum, these are static numbers. That doesn't mean you cannot actually change them. But uh, if you make a changes to here, MySys will automatically update. However, it's not the same with quantity stock. From the moment you export the table, if other MySys users, or even maybe you, 
continue transacting in MISIS, the stock levels, WIP stock, reserved stock, these can all change with linked transaction histories. So after a couple of days or maybe even a day later, you try to come and import the same Excel file in, MISIS will give you an error because likely these dynamic quantities that have been transacted on with MISIS are not going to match your Excel file. So that'll be the cause of the error and the import will be terminated. Solution, you need to clearly identify which fields in your tables are dynamic and which ones are static. And those that are dynamic, you can just get rid of them. And there will be no problems with uh, the import. Now, I am using a single user MISIS license uh, from my office. So even if I were not to delete that, it wouldn't have given me any errors because nobody has transacted in MISIS since the time I made the export. Uh, so it's kind of difficult for me to demonstrate the error for you um, other than going to MISIS and transacting. But let's save our file. Let's close out of here. And the next step is we go to file, import, items. We select our file path. It's in our downloads folder. Okay. And here is mode, insert and update. Notice there is no delete because it will not delete from MISIS. And type is manual. We can hit proceed. And you notice the second tab here, item location detail, which is MII lock tab in the Excel file, has a red or burgundy lining, which means unresolved fields. So if I select that table here, you'll notice that there are a couple of fields here that have been identified that need data. So when that happens, I can select those two and hit set to default. And what that means is that it is going to grab whatever is in MISIS uh, currently for last use date and last physical inventory date. And notice that those uh, quantity stock, quantity whip, they didn't even show up here, even though I deleted those columns. So as long as you set your tables properly and identify your static and dynamic data properly, then you will not run into any issues with the import function as well. Once ready, you hit OK, and everything will be imported back, and you will get the message that import completed successfully. I hope this helps you use MISIS more effectively, and if you have any questions regarding identifying static versus dynamic fields in tables, please give us a call, and we'll be more than happy to help you.